A very good evening to our viewers out there. Thanks for joining us in yet another episode of our program, Emir Ubakar's Diary. Our guest for today is Professor Haruna Abdullahi Amwanka, former Commissioner of Education to His Excellency Muhammad Abdullahi Abubakar, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. You are highly welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Um, so if I can ask this question, who is Emir Ubakar? Well, uh, Emi Abubakar uh, can be described as a disciplinarian lawyer, a fine administrator, and a father to the upcoming generation who happen to have opportunity to serve as a governor of Mbauchi State. And I'm fortunate for the state, you only serve for a tenure. Um, so you served, um, you previously served as a Commissioner of Education. Yes. So sir, can you um, share um, more achievement that was recorded during your uh, service in office? Well, uh, you know, education is social service. <laughs> and uh, it's not a kind of uh, something that you can measure immediately. But now we have an indicator uh, for this past four years that you can use to assess the administration of M.A. Abakar in terms of the contributions he gave at the educational sector. Uh, first of all, uh, if somebody is doing something and you feel he's doing it right, at least you need to acknowledge his presence and maybe support him or her. Well, M.A. Abakar has supported uh, about his state student in terms of scholarship and he supported the teachers from primary to up to tertiary level because if you take note of his administration throughout his tenure there has never any moment when the tertiary institution embarked on any strike so this shows he has passion for education and uh, during his tenure, there were specific programs meant to add value to the teachers in secondary school. That is teacher training program, especially at the core subjects, that is mathematics and English. And uh, at primary level, uh, we happen to have so many interventions from said. Uh, where they came was uh, Icarus, that is uh, early grade reading. Uh, we, 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 and we had uh, support from World Bank, uh, where they, they, they came with CEPI program. All these added together, uh, the, the contribution was magnanimous, and the result rebuilt itself. Because the time he took over the administration, mantle of the administration of the state, the percentage success of the secondary school students mm. in Waek mm. was less than 5%. Yeah. And at that time, Bochi mm. was tied mm. from the bottom of the table. Yeah. Just, we were just better off. Mm. We were better than two, just two states yeah. in the federation. Yeah. And at the time he handed over the state, mm. The percentage success mm. was 34.8%. Yeah. So yeah. you can imagine within the span of four years, yeah. he recorded this. Yeah. It's an amazing achievement. Really amazing. Yes. Really amazing. So, sir, so you have um, witnessed um, previous leadership before the emergence of Emir Abubakar. And you have also witnessed the recent administration. So can you um, share a little um, the uniqueness of his administration that you just witnessed? Well, the uniqueness of the administration, though, mm. uh, I served in his administration. Yeah. And for me to make judgment yeah. about the administration, mm. morally, mm. I may sound <laughs> bad. Mm. In terms of reality, yeah. I worked under him. Mm. And I know he gave every mm. uh, sector mm. a leverage to do their work. Yeah. 
unlike other administration yeah. where you notice or you see clear interference from executive governor's office yeah. other sectors of the state uh, ministries and departments yeah. so uh, during his administration honestly uh, he gave a kind of leverage and he allows all the people he appointed yeah. to use their wisdom yeah. and talent with no any interference so in that aspect mm. i can score him 198 percent no uh, there must be space for error so in conclusion there are a lot of people out there who are um you know um calling him to come back for the second time to contest um can you do you have any uh, goodwill message for them or can you um you know um, have a word for them actually for the young people well, that are well yeah. well actually mm. uh, from the way i describe him yeah so he, I told you that he's a father to the younger generation. Yes. And if younger generation mm. realize that mm. they didn't have father now mm. and they want their father to come back mm. so that they can be taken care of, yeah. it, there is nothing wrong in that. Yeah. So this is a yearning mm. from the generations that cut across young, elderly, and middle age. Okay. And uh, they were so amazed with the way he governed the state. Yeah. So there is nothing wrong mm. in asking him to come back and at least showcase his talent for the progress of the study. Yes, uh, thank you very much for being in the program. You're welcome.